Hey boys and girls, this is Larry, UBRailroad.com. Check me out. Today I'm going to show you how I am going to make pulleys for my sawmill. I have searched and searched and searched and searched and searched and searched. And searched. I can't find them anywhere on the net that looks presentable. So I'm going to make my own. What am I doing? Well, I'm just taking one inch pine, just regular, you know, pine board. Then I'm cutting uh, holes uh, with the hole saw. This one's a little about two and a half. This one's two. This one's one and three quarters. And then when I get it cut, the first thing I do then is I decide I'm going to use six holes. Now you can use any you want. Three, four, five, six, eight, however you want to do it. Okay, then I made this because I just happened to have this, which is six pulleys. So I made this little guide here where this goes on like this, and then I could just take a wheel, drop it down, and mark my spokes or my holes where they're going to be. And then I come over here to the drill press. And sorry, I got a really bad cold, man. I can't get rid of this. Save my soul. Okay, so now that I've got this in here like this, I just kind of line it up. And I look over here and see how much there's going to be, you know, on the side of it and uh, so forth. And then if it looks good, then I just take this block of wood with a clamp and I clamp it down. And then this way, every time... Every time I spin this, it's going to be exactly the same distance from the back to the front. Now you can adjust this, you can put them up here, any way you want to, just however you want to do it. I mean, there's no, there's no right or wrong way on this by all means. So anyway, then after I get that all done, then I take this uh, cone-shaped uh, grinding wheel, and then I go down each hole, and I kind of enlarge it. So it looks like, here, here's how it looks on this side. And then here's how it looks on that side. And I just, you know, flare them out a little bit to make it look like a pulley. I haven't painted these yet. Haven't decided. I think I'm going to go with maybe green or yellow and then red on the inside. And the way I'll do it is I'll take this and I get a tray of red paint. And then I'll just dip it in there until it comes right to the very top. Then once it comes to the top, I'll just pull it out then let it drip dry and then I'll come over and I could use a paint uh, marker and uh, finish the top on it but anyway uh, that's the way it is when I get them all done and I get them on my sawmill I'll uh, kind of show you show you how it all turned out but real simple cheap way uh, tools you're going to need you're going to need a drill of course and a hole saw and if you go to Harbor Freight or somewhere like that you can buy hole saw kits for under 10 bucks okay uh, they've got the kind that are adjustable uh, they get a big swing arm on it and you can adjust the those are usually uh, 12 15 on up depending on how much you want to spend but after that decide what you want and go to work but you can make some really nice pulleys they don't have to be this thick you can see that I cut this one in half so you know I've got half the size pulley but I am going to go with the one inch because here's my belt my belt is going to be nice and thick because I don't want it walking I don't want it traveling so these are belts that I'm making okay uh, that's another time we'll talk about belts later but right now this is all about pulleys uh, I hope you understand what I'm doing if not contact me I'll explain it more uh, if you got any questions I'm always here so anyway enjoy and uh, this is Larry over and out.